coming. Hi. Afternoon, Mrs. Subden. Can I come in? Yes. Uh, is this about Andy? I was at the hospital earlier when your colleague arrested him. Right. What were you doing there? Visiting my husband. Oh, OK. No, no, it's not about Andy. No, we've released him. Oh, right. I know, right. Watertight alibi. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Well, no, I mean, if he's innocent... Well, he is, yeah, so the quest for justice continues. Now, can you tell me about the threat you made to your husband's life? I beg your pardon? Oh, you stated you wanted to kill him, reportedly whilst holding a firearm on the very day you were shot. I, I think I need to call my solicitor. I suspect you probably do. Yes, and I said that we need to come home. Dad! Hey, you all right? I thought you'd run away forever. I'd never run away from you. Are you mad at me for getting you in trouble? You were scared before you left. What? No! You didn't get me in trouble. But the police thought you shot Uncle Robert. Well, they don't anymore. That's all been straightened out now. So I'm sorry if I frightened you. It's OK now. I got a new dress. Mommy bought it off the internet cos she wanted me to like her after everything. Oh, OK. Rumbled. Well, can I see it then? Did Uncle Robert kill Katie? Go on, go put your dress on. She seems to know a lot. Well, despite my best efforts. Ta-da! That looks grown up. Why don't you go and put it on? Why not? I don't want to go upstairs again. Why, in case I'm not here when you come down? Oh, come here. Listen, I've had my little holiday. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to look after you and Jack. All right? Right. Is it me, or is this not very productive? My client is under no obligation to speak to you, as you're well aware. And as you are well aware, her continued silence does not exactly paint her as a picture of innocence. I am in the room. Yeah, well, with respect, Mr Sugden, you may as well not be. Please feel free to leave any time. If I do, it will be with you, Mrs Sugden, and we will continue this silence of all at the station, which is much less comfortable. My son... Lachlan found a gun. Chrissy. He found a gun. What sort of gun? I don't know, just a, a gun. What, a shotgun? A, a handgun? A starter pistol? No, it was a handgun. In the, he found it in the village. Oh, just lying there, you know, as if it had fallen out of someone's pocket, yeah? And well, he brought it home. As opposed to handing it in? He's a teenager. I'm sure guns are fascinating. Anyway, I, I discovered it and I put it in the safe. Could I see this gun, please? Well, it was stolen. <laughs> From a safe inside a house? Yes. And when was this stolen? On Friday. Oh, put another way, on the day your husband was shot with a handgun. Yes, whilst extremely inconvenient, does not point to Mrs Sugden's involvement in the shooting one little bit, uh, except circumstantially. And that's why I won't be making an arrest. <laughs> but, um... But now I will hang around, if you don't mind. And I'd like it if you stayed with me, Mrs Sugden. Yeah? Um, just until my colleagues arrive with the search warrant. I don't know what you're worrying about. All you did was tell the police the truth. Yeah. Do you fancy doing the same? Oh, not this again. You were up there all the time. You were closer to him than his own wife. I mean, who is more obvious to know the code for the safe? I don't believe this. Whatever you say, babe, it won't go any further, I promise. But please... This is ridiculous. Just tell me what happened. I don't know what happened. Robert got shot, but I know it wasn't me and apparently it wasn't you. Did you take that gun? Have I not just said? You have said a lot of things in the past couple of months that have turned out to be lies. Right, well, so, so that makes me a murderer? I really hope not. But if I've just helped to send someone down for something they didn't do, then at least let me know. 